right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna have a little unboxing slash versus video. But I recently got the Cobalt 24 Max uh, blower. Now, the only other company that I know that makes a blower like this is Ryobi. So let's unbox this really quick and check it out and see what uh, see what this looks like. Uh, this is model number, I think, uh, 132847. I am not too sure, tool only. I got a battery right here though. So let's open this up and see what this actually looks like. Ooh, this actually looks bigger than that. If not, almost almost the same. All right, uh, this one comes with a couple of no nozzles, just like the Ryobi does. All right, so this unit, this actually, this unit's bulkier. This unit, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison really quick. Yeah, the unit is definitely a lot bulkier in the, the handle. But let's see if the sticker's already coming off. Yeah, it looks pretty much almost identical. So sorry, the model number is K24HV. It does not give any specs on this whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna have to put that in right now. I have to look that up. That does seem quiet. I bet you that's quieter too. I honestly think the cobalt's more powerful. And it's quieter. I actually just do this. Probably like a three quarter of an inch bigger in just mass. So, but this is more power. I do think this is more powerful though. Just got done filming an episode, so let's test this out and see how well this works. All right, so never mind on the versus video. There's no need to. Uh, if you're in the Ryobi system, obviously you're, you're gonna pick the Ryobi uh, uh, blower slash inflator. Thing with the cobalt, if you're into cobalt, you're gonna get the cobalt one. But when it comes to both of these, I recommend either of them. These come very useful. You could blow up inner tubes with them. Sorry, I'm a boater, so I do a lot of reference of boating inner tubes with them. You could blow off your works area. You could blow uh, blow up air mattresses. If the Ryobi one lasts a long time, the Cobalt one will. I had this one for almost two years. I use this all the time. I just used it to inflate my uh, uh, my tube to go tubing. And so I will be using this a lot this summer to inflate and deflate my floating devices for the water. I'll put it right up here. This also inflated uh, a little uh, air pool. So it did the job. Did it flawlessly, so I recommend both of these. Now, like I said, both of these have di different attachments. Ryobi's uh, keeps their attachment on their on the base, and I do not believe Cobalt has uh, any storage for uh, storage for their extra nozzles. But as you can see, the same thing with Cobalt as you can do with Ryobi, that it turns into a deflator. And the same thing for the Ryobi, that turns into a deflator because instead of blowing air in, it'll suck air out and blow it out this way. So if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button. Plenty of videos coming up. Uh, I will be using both of these like crazy during the summer. It's good to have two of them. It's good. And so, yes, that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.